Hey everybody, it's Betty from Betty's Garage. Um, today I'm bringing you a new invention of mine. It's a fully automated, fully automatic furnace array. Um, I've been in many a survival world where I've made the regular furnace arrays where you have two mine carts on levers, um, one for fuel, one for the things you're wanting to smelt, and you send them on their way. And that system works really great and all. But the problem is, is if you get in a hurry and you put the wrong thing in the wrong cart or you have somebody in your world who puts the wrong thing in the wrong cart and then it goes into your furnaces, then it tends to just foobar everything and you have to go manually remove everything from the furnaces. And it's quite a hassle. So with this particular uh, array, this is fully automatic. It has one input chest. You don't have to send carts on their way. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is put your fuel or your smeltable or cookable item in this chest, and it will be taken care of by the furnace array. There's three lights, a sorter silo, a fuel silo, and a smelter silo. So just to be real quick, what I've done here is I've made a... Uh, a sorter array that sorts out the items I want in it for fuel and for whatever I want to smelt or cook. Um, these are totally expandable to whatever you want to put in them. I've just done this for uh, what I like. Um, same with the fuel. You can expand them to whatever you want. And how the system works is you put your fuel or your uh, smeltable item in this chest. It goes over to our sorter array, goes through our sorters, takes one of three paths, depending on if it's something you want sorted, uh, or if it's fuel, or if it's something you don't want in your system, um, that gets returned to that chest right there. Um, there's a silo for fuel, and there's a silo also for um, your smeltable sortable items. So while I'm gonna uh, talk to you about this, I'm gonna go ahead and get started by putting a bunch of things in our box here. I'm gonna put some things that are uh, smeltable and then some items that are not and so what's going to happen is your silo lights going to come on showing that you have things going into your sorter as soon as it gets there anyway and anything that's not sortable um, that we don't want in our system will come back here preventing it from ever reaching our furnaces so it never gets broken then what happens is once they get sorted they will come over here to our distribution uh, platforms. There's two. This is for fuel. This is for uh, our cooking items or our smelting items. Um, how this basically works is once things get here, they come down into our cart here. I've made some circuitry here to make sure that nothing ever gets stuck in our cart and doesn't get distributed onto our tracks. Once our cart fills up, um, if it gets to 15 ticks, this circuit right here will retract the piston and send the cart on its way. If you don't have quite a full cart or something like that, that's what the rest of the circuitry over here is for. We have something to let us know that there is something in our cart. Um, while you're actually receiving items, you'll notice that this comparator here is not on because passing through this uh, hopper here into our hopper cart, it won't set off a signal. It'll only set off a signal if something is stops inside this hopper cart here. In our chest, it sends off a signal that lets us know things are passing through our chest, and this is what turns off this torch right here. Basically, the reason we want to turn off that torch is because as soon as things enter our cart, we have a signal that comes around here, wraps around, and will come and let our, our cart um, go if this piston is pushed forward. And two things will push that piston forward. If I have nothing in my chest, and if I have nothing in my hopper right here. But the other thing that can happen is you can have like uneven stacks so that this cart will fill with five stacks of things, but one stack will be short and not make the 15 ticks necessary. Well, how do we know if it's 15 ticks? Basically by having um, this redstone block here, that's tick 15. Then we come into this comparator that's on retract mode. This brings it down to 14 ticks coming into the side of this. So the comparator won't set off a signal to retract the torch until the cart sees 15 ticks. It's completely full. But if it's not completely full, we still want to have a way to be able to send it off. And that's what happens there. You'll notice that redstone repeater is on. So if there's nothing in this chest and there's nothing in this hopper here, this piston will send out here, sensing the signal from that, and then get sent off. The other thing that can happen is um, we can have things here and things here because we just sent it off and you notice now our hopper is starting to fill. Um, this is where this AND circuit down here comes in. 
if the AND circuit turns off, it'll set off this timer here. And what this timer is for is to make sure that um, once I reach a certain number of ticks, which is preset through how many items I have here, and our redstone signal coming back into our um, comparator that's supposed to be on retractor mode, um, it'll send a signal and cause the piston to retract. And that'll keep anything from ever getting stuck in the system. Once our cart's released so that it doesn't keep coming back up in here and filling more, I've built this little um, circuit in here to cause the track to go back and forth and keep our cart from returning unless it's completely empty. Once it's completely empty, the cart will come back here and then continue to fill. Our cart will go down the tracks here. And as you can see, we show that we have two lights on. We're still sending items to the, to the sorter silo. And we have items going to the smelter silo. We have items that are being um, smelted in the furnace. And then we have items that are being returned here at a pretty good rate. Since it's 32 furnaces, you get a pretty good rate of return on that. And like I say, you can expand it if you want. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial on this. Uh, I just want to get some feedback from the Minecraft world to see, you know, if anybody's interested. I know it's kind of complicated circuitry, but uh, there might be somebody out here who could figure out a better way to do this than what I figured out here. But this is basically what I've come up with, and it seems to work, and it works every time. It, like I say, nothing ever gets stuck. It's unbreakable. Um, you never have to go fish things out of your furnaces. The furnaces don't break and everything gets put through the system and like i say if you put things in the system that you don't want in the system they get returned to you in this chest whatever it is that you put in that you didn't that's not sortable and is not for fuel or smelting it'll get returned in this chest here and you get it back um that's kind of my system in a nutshell i just wanted to showcase it to y'all i worked real hard on this um it's taken many hours of you know trial and error to get everything to work just the way I wanted. As you can see, I have, you know, uh, I like to call them little delay circuits here and there um, for things going off. And then when this circuit does get activated, there's a delay circuit so that, cause you know, you wanna make sure that both of these torches are fully off and off for a while. That's why the delay circuit. And if the circuit does turn on, what happens is, is we send a signal um, down the track via this comparator here that basically keeps it live it keeps it from reactivating until it's actually gone through its full cycle that's what that circuit there is all about so um, i've tried to make sure that everything works and works in harmony and works really well and like i say it's fully automated all you need to do is whatever you want to put in there um, you just put in there and i've made it so that the furnaces are accessible so you know you can make sure you have fuel and stuff i mean if you put a bunch of stuff in and you're not getting anything back chances are you didn't put any fuel in you know they're not lighting up even though you might have items up here being uh smelted or ready to smelt no no fuel no smelt right okay no pun intended sorry um anyways as you can see we've gotten everything back um that we've put in there it's still coming back for some of the cells, but you know, eventually everything will be there. I promise you the system works perfectly every single time. Um, again, this is Betty from Betty's Garage um, showcasing my new invention. Like to hear some feedback from the Minecraft world to see if you uh, want to do me to do a tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and do one and I'll let you know when it's out there. Y'all have a great day. Take care again, Betty from Betty's Garage. Peace out.